a journey beyond the stars awaits. Ever wondered what secrets the cosmos whispers? Prepare for a voyage where curiosity meets the unknown. Let's go. Image number one, the Southern Milky Way and the Carina Nebula. This image from the James Webb Space Telescope shows a vast expanse of the Southern Milky Way galaxy, from the Centaurus constellation at the bottom to the Carina constellation at the top. The Carina Nebula is a large star-forming region that appears as a reddish patch in the top of the image. The Carina Nebula is one of the largest and brightest nebulae in the sky, and it is located about 7,500 light-years away from Earth. It is a region of active star formation, and it contains many young, hot stars. These stars emit powerful ultraviolet light and winds, which shape the gas and dust in the nebula into towering pillars and dramatic cavities. The James Webb Space Telescope's infrared vision allows us to see through the dust and gas in the Carina Nebula, revealing previously hidden details of the star-forming process. In this image, we can see hundreds of new stars that have never been seen before. We can also see examples of bubbles and cavities blown out by newborn stars, and even some galaxies lurking in the background. The Carina Nebula is a cloud of gas and dust in space. Nebulae can be found all over the Milky Way galaxy and beyond, and they come in a variety of shapes and sizes. The Carina Nebula is a large emission nebula, meaning that it glows due to the energy from the young stars within it. So, what is happening in the Carina Nebula? The Carina Nebula is a region of active star formation. This means that new stars are constantly being born within the nebula. The young stars in the Carina Nebula are very hot and bright, and they emit powerful ultraviolet light and winds. This ultraviolet light and wind ionize the gas in the nebula, causing it to glow. The Carina Nebula is also home to many massive stars. Massive stars are much more massive than our sun and they have much shorter lifespans. When a massive star dies, it explodes in a supernova. Supernovae are some of the most energetic events in the universe, and they can release a tremendous amount of energy and material. How did the James Webb Space Telescope capture this image? Infrared light is a type of light that is invisible to the human eye, but it can be used to see through dust and gas. This is because dust and gas absorb visible light, but they allow infrared light to pass through. The James Webb Space Telescope's infrared vision allows us to see through the dust and gas in the Carina Nebula, revealing previously hidden details of the star-forming process. In this image, we can see hundreds of new stars that have never been seen before. We can also see examples of bubbles and cavities blown out by newborn stars, and even some galaxies lurking in the background. What can we learn from this image? This image from the James Webb Space Telescope is providing scientists with new insights into the star-forming process in the Carina Nebula. By studying this image, scientists can learn more about how stars are born, how they evolve, and how they interact with their surroundings. Image number two, Pinwheel Galaxy, a swirl of cosmic beauty. Dive into the universe and you'll find galaxies strewn across its vast canvas like masterpieces of art. Among these, the Pinwheel Galaxy, also known by its formal title as Messier 101, stands out. Have you ever wondered what makes this galaxy unique? Situated in the Ursa Major constellation, a grouping of stars that has guided and intrigued humanity for ages, the Pinwheel Galaxy is approximately 23 million light-years away from us. To give a bit of perspective, one light-year is the distance that light travels in a single year, almost 5.88 trillion miles, or 9.46 trillion kilometers. So you can imagine the staggering expanse that separates us from this celestial wonder. But what's even more captivating? Within the swirls of Messier 101, lie around 3,000 clusters of freshly formed blue stars. Now, when we say newborn, we're talking in cosmic terms. 
Stars are formed from clouds of dust and gas over millions of years. These clusters in the pinwheel galaxy are a telltale sign of regions brimming with stellar activity. But why blue, you ask? The color of a star can tell us about its temperature. Blue stars are incredibly hot, much hotter than our own sun, for example. As these stars are younger and burn at higher temperatures, they emit a brilliant blue hue, making them visible even from millions of light years away. So the next time you look up at the night sky, ponder about the wonders that lie beyond our immediate sight. Who knows, maybe the light from one of these sizzling blue stars in the pinwheel galaxy might just be reaching your eyes, a beacon from a faraway corner of our universe. How incredible is that? Image 3, N180b, a galactic canvas in the large Magellanic Cloud journey with me to the depths of space, where the James Webb Space Telescope has captured an exquisite spectacle, N180b, a bustling region of star creation in the large Magellanic Cloud, LMC. Not just a pretty sight, the LMC is a neighboring satellite galaxy to our own Milky Way, found in the Mensa constellation. Curious about what's happening inside? Draped across an expanse that challenges imagination, this region, also identified as LH-117 or NGC-2122, showcases delicate streams of hydrogen and oxygen gases. They dance and merge with space dust, painting a picture that only nature could create on such a grand scale. But what does it all mean? N-180b is home to some of the most luminous star clusters in the known universe, Picture stars so blisteringly hot and bright that they outshine a million of our suns combined. These aren't just regular stars. Their immense energy release generates potent ultraviolet radiation and produces powerful winds. To simplify, think of these winds as gusts made up of rapidly moving, electrically charged particles shooting out into space. Such ultraviolet radiation charges up the surrounding gas causing it to shine brilliantly. And the forceful winds disperse this gas across areas spanning tens to hundreds of light years. Both phenomena are beautifully evident in N-180b. If you look closer, you might notice intricate dust streamers stretching a mind-boggling 100 light years, crisscrossing this nebula and meeting near its heart. Contrasting these are bright orange-framed dust clouds nestled in opposite corners of the image. These compact clusters, spanning a few light years, appear to float like islands in this cosmic sea. Moreover, the so-called elephant trunk formations of dust might catch your eye. Here's a fascinating thought. If the mighty winds from nearby stars compress these dust structures, they might kickstart the birth of new stars within them. Essentially, these formations hint at the ever-evolving nature of this star-making region. So. While galaxies, stars, and nebulas might seem remote and unchanging, regions like N-180b remind us that the universe is ever in motion, constantly evolving and creating anew. What stories do you think the stars born here might tell in a million years? Image number four, Spiral Galaxy M81, the celestial dance in Ursa Major. Ever gazed up at the night sky and marveled at the sprinkling of stars, imagining the galaxies they belong to. One such gem lurking in the constellation of Ursa Major is the Spiral Galaxy M81. But what secrets does it hold? This particular galaxy, also fondly called Bode's Galaxy or Messier 81, 
is one of the finest examples of a spiral galaxy. If you're wondering, spiral galaxies are much like a whirlpool with arms that curve out in a pinwheel pattern. They're a wondrous concoction of stars, dust, and gas, all rotating harmoniously around a central core. Now let's travel virtually 12 million light years away to the southern tip of M81. That's a mind-bending distance. To put it into simpler terms, a light year is how far light travels in one year, roughly 5.88 trillion miles, or 9.46 trillion kilometers. And we're talking about 12 million of those distances. At the southern extremity of Bode's galaxy, the dance of stars and cosmic materials comes alive in a way that's uniquely mesmerizing. Stars are born, live their luminous lives, and eventually, over time, meet their cosmic destinies, perhaps as supernovas that scatter elements back into the galaxy. You might ask, why is the study of such a region in a distant galaxy important? By observing areas like these, we gain valuable insights into the life cycles of stars and the very mechanisms that drive galaxies. Remember, galaxies aren't just static displays. They're dynamic, ever-evolving systems. The processes that occur in M81 might be mirrored in countless other galaxies, possibly even our own Milky Way. So next time you find yourself under the canopy of night, spare a thought for the intriguing spiral galaxy M81 and its southern charm. It's not just a cluster of stars, but a testament to the intricate ballet of the universe. Who knows what other mysteries it might unravel in the future. Image number five, NGCC 2074, the theater of stars journey with me, far beyond our backyard of stars and galaxies, to the constellation of Dorado, where there exists a stellar nursery unlike any other. It's called NGCC 2074, and it's a sight to behold. Nestled within the universe's vast expanse, NGC 2074 is a tiny fragment of the Dorado constellation, but what it lacks in size, it compensates with sheer activity. Now, when we discuss a stellar nursery, we're referring to regions in space where new stars are born from clouds of gas and dust. Imagine it as a nursery on Earth where seeds sprout only on a grand cosmic scale. The Webb Telescope, with its keen sight, directed its lens to this intriguing patch near the star cluster of NGC 2074. What it captured can best be described as an intense theater of creation and transformation. This isn't just any part of space. It's a turbulent area where stars emerge, live, and eventually might end in spectacular explosions known as supernovas. But why is this region so active? There's a theory that a nearby supernova explosion might have stirred things up. Picture a massive star meeting its end in a colossal burst of energy. This explosion can act like a catalyst, triggering a cascade of events that lead to the birth of new stars. One notable neighbor of NGC 2074 is the Tarantula Nebula, which holds the title of being among the most vibrant star-producing areas in our local group of galaxies. With such illustrious company, NGC 2074's locale becomes all the more captivating. A staggering 170,000 light-years separate us from this dramatic realm. It's a distance so immense that the light we see today began its journey toward us long before our ancestors walked the Earth. In closing, consider this. As you see this, new stars might be taking form in NGC 2074, ready to shine for millennia. What stories do these distant lights have to share? And what other wonders remain hidden in this corner of Dorado? Only time and continued exploration will tell.
Image number six, Sharpless 29, a cosmic garden in full bloom. Have you ever wondered where stars come from or what the cradle of a star might look like? Let's venture into the heart of the Sagittarius constellation, where the James Webb Space Telescope has unveiled a radiant spectacle, the stellar nursery known as Sharpless 29. Stellar nursery might sound poetic, but it's a term that captures the essence of regions like Sharpless 29. Just as gardens on Earth nurture seeds into blooming flowers, these cosmic gardens provide the right conditions for stars to form, flourish, and shine. Dive deeper into this picture, and you'll discover an intricate tapestry of astronomical wonders. Dominating the scene are vast clouds of cosmic dust and gas. These aren't your everyday clouds. They possess the magical ability to interact with light in various ways. As light from the nascent hot stars within Sharpless 29 hits these clouds, some interesting things happen. The clouds can reflect this light, creating gleaming areas in the nebula, but they can also absorb it, leading to darker patches. In some areas, they even re-emit this light, producing an ethereal glow. But why does this interaction with light matter? These processes give astronomers clues about what's happening within Sharpless 29. For instance, the presence of young, hot stars can be inferred from the way these clouds glow or cast shadows. It's like piecing together a cosmic puzzle where light helps reveal the bigger picture. Sharpless 29 isn't just any nebula, it's categorized as an H2 region within our Milky Way. In simple terms, this means it's a zone where hydrogen gas gets excited by the energy from nearby young stars and emits light, making the entire region shine. In the grand tapestry of the universe, places like Sharpless 29 are vital. They're not just dazzling to look at, but they also offer insights into the life cycles of stars and the intricate processes that shape galaxies. So, as you ponder the wonders of the cosmos, imagine the young stars within Sharpless 29 lighting up their surroundings, creating a spectacle that's been billions of years in the making. How many other such nurseries might be out there, and what tales of the universe do they hold? The journey of discovery is endless. Image number seven, Triangulum Galaxy, a cosmic canvas of detail and delight. Imagine for a moment being able to witness artistry on a universal scale, where every stroke and detail unravels mysteries of the cosmos. Thanks to the James Webb Space Telescope, we're brought face to face with such a masterpiece. The galaxy known as Messier 33, or more commonly, the Triangulum Galaxy. Positioned a mere three million light years away, the Triangulum Galaxy holds the distinction of being the second closest large galaxy to our own Milky Way. But what does three million light years really mean? Think of it this way. Light from the Triangulum Galaxy started its journey toward us around the time our ancestors were crafting the first stone tools. This celestial marvel, located in the constellation of Triangulum, is a bustling hub of activity. The image captured by the telescope paints a vivid scene of a spiral galaxy. Spirals are like cosmic whirlpools, with arms that seem to twirl outwards. And within these arms, the Triangulum Galaxy showcases a vibrant medley of star clusters that gleam like scattered jewels against the velvet backdrop of space. However, it's not just the stars that grab attention. Dotted across this galaxy are glowing red gas clouds nestled within its spiral arms. These aren't just ornamental. They're regions where new stars are potentially being born, incubating in these gaseous cradles. What's especially noteworthy about this image is its incredible detail. It's akin to having a telescope that brings distant birds into clear focus, letting us observe their feathers and colors with precision. Similarly, this picture offers one of the most detailed wide-field views of the Triangulum Galaxy, highlighting the intricacies of its gas clouds and star formations with unparalleled clarity. So as you behold the wonders of Messier 33, 
Ponder this. In this vast universe filled with billions of galaxies, what stories and secrets might each one hold? And as technology progresses, allowing us to delve deeper into space, what other breathtaking views await our eager eyes? The universe, it seems, has many more tales to tell. Image number 8, IC 4701. Navigating the cosmic seas of starlight, journey with me as we embark on an exploration not through water, but through a mesmerizing sea of stars. The IC 4701 Nebula. Nestled in the constellation of Sagittarius, this celestial wonder offers an experience akin to deep sea diving, albeit in a galaxy far, far away. Stretching across the night sky, IC 4701 is no small spectacle. To offer a tangible comparison, this nebula spans an area twice as expansive as the full moon. It's not just its size that's impressive, but also its vibrant colors and textures. But have you ever wondered what lends this nebula its unique reddish hue? New stars, freshly minted in the cosmic furnace, radiate an energetic light that interacts with the hydrogen gas surrounding them. This interaction charges the gas, causing it to glow with a distinctive, intense red color. It's like watching the sun rise and paint the sky with its warm hues, but on a much grander cosmic scale. Yet, amidst this radiant glow, there are pockets of darkness. These shadowy areas are teeming with interstellar dust, so thick and dense that even the most brilliant starlight finds it impossible to penetrate. These areas aren't voids. They're bustling with potential, perhaps waiting for the right conditions to give birth to new stars. Delving further into the nature of stars within IC 4701, an interesting pattern emerges. The majority of its stars are cooler, possess a redder tinge, and are notably less massive than our sun. On the flip side, the rare, hotter blue stars that do exist live fast and bright, but their lifespan is brief. These brilliant giants are like fireworks in the night, short-lived but breathtaking to behold. Their presence, along with the glowing gas that surrounds them, serves as a lighthouse signaling regions of fresh star creation. So, as you contemplate this sea of stars and the wonders of IC 4701, consider the myriad of stories it holds. How many secrets do these stars, both young and old, have to share? In the vastness of the universe, with countless nebulas and galaxies, what makes each one unique? The universe is an ever-evolving tapestry of mysteries waiting to be unraveled. What will we discover next? Image number 9, NGC 7727, when cosmic worlds collide. Picture a bustling city square where every so often two people lost in their thoughts accidentally bump into one another. Now, magnify this scenario trillions of times and you've got galaxies, not people, coming together in a breathtaking cosmic dance. The result? Not just a fleeting excuse me, but the birth of an entirely new celestial entity. Enter the captivating tale of the NGC 7727 galaxy. Set against the backdrop of the Aquarius constellation, a staggering 90 million light years from our home, lies NGC 7727. But how can we truly comprehend such an enormous distance? Imagine light, the fastest thing we know, traveling for 90 million years to reach us. That's the ancient light we see when we gaze upon NGC 7727. The unique form of this galaxy whispers tales of a grand cosmic event from a billion years past. 
Its intriguing, irregular silhouette and the starry tendrils that extend from its outer realms tell of a time when two galaxies, in their cosmic journey, gravitated towards one another, eventually merging to give birth to what we now recognize as NGC 7727. Such galactic collisions aren't mere acts of destruction. Instead, they're transformative, reshaping galaxies and birthing new stars, sometimes in patterns and structures starkly different from their predecessors. But there's more to this story than just stellar choreography. By delving into the intricacies of galaxies like NGC 7727, astronomers hope to unlock secrets about dark energy. This enigmatic force, seemingly embedded in the very fabric of the universe, remains one of the great unsolved mysteries of cosmology. Could it truly be responsible for the accelerating expansion of the universe? And if so, how does it operate? In the grand theater of the cosmos, galaxies like NGC 7727 play a pivotal role. They challenge our understanding, make us question our place in the universe, and offer clues about the forces that shape it. As we uncover more about these galactic phenomena, one can't help but wonder, what other tales are written in the stars, waiting for us to read them? Image number 10, Vela Supernova. Remnant, echoes of a stellar finale. In the vast canvas of the universe, tales of drama, birth, and endings play out. The southern constellation of Vela hosts a magnificent tableau that tells one such story, the Vela Supernova Remnant. But what are these remnants, and why should they captivate us? Imagine a star much more massive than our sun reaching the end of its life in its final moments, it erupts in a cataclysmic explosion, an event we term as a supernova. Such a powerful blast isn't just an ending, it's the beginning of something new and mesmerizing. Hovering 800 light years away from us, the Vela supernova remnant bears witness to this explosive finale that occurred approximately 11,000 years ago. To visualize that time frame, when this star met its dramatic end, Earth's earliest civilizations were just starting to form. The image of Vela unveils a mesmerizing mosaic of pink-hued gaseous clouds. Some are slender and delicate, reminiscent of silken threads, while others are dense, forming the backdrop to the dazzling stars that adorn the scene. These gaseous tendrils, stretching and intertwining, create a cosmic web, a network shaped by the very force of the original explosion. When the star exploded, it didn't simply vanish. It sent shockwaves racing outward, which acted like colossal cosmic hands, squeezing and molding the surrounding gas. This sculpting action birthed the intricate patterns we see, a testament to the raw power of a supernova. So, as you immerse yourself in the allure of the Vela supernova remnant, ponder upon its origins. Think about the vast life journey of that long gone star, which ended in a dramatic spectacle. How many more such remnants are scattered across the universe? And what can they teach us about the life cycles of stars and the forces that shape galaxies? Every glimmer, hue, and filament in Vela holds a chapter of a grand cosmic tale, one that we're only beginning to understand. Got a favorite celestial snapshot from your space gallery? Share it with us in the comments and tell us what makes it shine in your universe. Star Voyagers, that's a wrap on today's interstellar journey. We're over the moon to have had you with us, exploring the grand tapestry of the cosmos. If our voyage ignited your curiosity, be sure to hit that subscribe button and give our adventure a galactic thumbs up. 
Remember, every night sky holds a new story. So, until our next starlit expedition, keep dreaming and exploring.